Welcome to the One Key Data Data Warehousing Tutorial. In this video, we will talk about conform dimensions. First, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so now. In a typical data warehousing system, there are multiple fact tables, each connecting to its own set of dimension tables. A conform dimension is a dimension that has exactly the same meaning and content when being referred to from different fact tables. Here, dimension 2 and dimension 5 are both examples of a conform dimension, as they are both linked to from all three fact tables. Conform dimension is important because it gives you consistency as you perform analysis across different types of metrics. In addition, because there is only one conform dimension table to take care of, ETL jobs are easier to manage and maintain. You might think, hmm. This makes perfect sense, but wouldn't all systems have all conform dimensions by default? Well, this is often not the case. This could be due to a number of reasons. The most likely reason is you have different source systems. For example, you have an inventory system that is not connected to the system you use to track sales. So products are tracked differently across the two systems. Now, if you simply move everything into your data warehouse, you will not have a conform product dimension. Rather, you have two distinct product dimensions. In this case, it will become difficult to answer a question like, for products that are not selling, is it because there is no inventory for them? Another reason could be due to organizational differences. For example, your finance team may define a week as from Saturday to Friday, and your product team may define a week as from Sunday to Saturday. In this case, the time dimension is not conformed. There are two aspects to building a conform dimension. The first is to figure out the rules. In the case of different product dimensions, you can build rules to map one product dimension to another. Once the rules are defined, then you'll need to modify your ETL process to make sure your dimension tables and fact tables are built according to these rules. Often the difficult part is in getting organizational buy-in as different teams can be very insistent on keeping the definition they are used to. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To learn more about data warehousing, please visit onekeydata.com.